enzyme which we are going to discuss today is clinofragment actually clinofragment is not a complete enzyme it is a enzyme that is one second okay so clinofragment actually it is an enzyme that is derived from dna polymerase enzyme dna polymerase enzyme polymerase one enzyme of e coli through proteolytic cleavage proteolytic cleavage okay okay this is actually it's not naturally present actually clino fragment is not naturally occurring but what it is how it is obtained is dna polymerase one it is proteolytically cleaved to get the clino fragment clino fragment is an enzyme that is derived from the dna polymerase one actually even though it is derived it retains the activity it retains the activity so last class we have discussed that dna polymerase one is having the three different activities one is five prime to three prime polymerase activity okay so we have discussed that dna polymerase one is having the five prime to three prime polymerase activity okay and three prime to or like five prime to three prime is exonucleus activity and then three prime to five prime exonucleus activity and we have also discussed that this part of 3 prime to 5 prime is also uh, activity is also known as the proofreading activity proofreading activity okay so what happens here is so here uh, this particular is obtained by this is the part of what dna polymerase 1 okay so to get the uh, clean of fragment this particular activity we and we doesn't need this one so this will be removed when it is removed we'll get the clino fragment okay once the subunit responsible for 5 prime 3 prime exonucleus is removed we'll get the clino fragment that means what so clino fragment it's a it's a precursor of Clino fragment it is an enzyme that is a precursor of precursor of what precursor of dna polymerase 1 so this okay clino fragment it is a precursor of dna polymerase 1 dna polymerase 1 obtained by obtained by proteolytic removal of proteolytic removal of 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease subunit exonuclease subunit okay to make you understand further i'll just explain with a diagram okay so when we take when we talk about the dna polymerase 1 okay when we talk about the dna polymerase 1 so enzyme is enzyme is what they will basically proteins only so it will be having the three subunit okay one subunit second subunit and a third subunit okay like this it will be having the it's a just i'm just uh, diagrammatically representing exactly it doesn't remain the same i'm just showing to make you understand how does it look like okay dna polymerase active like is having the three subunit say this is for 5 prime to 3 prime polymerase okay this is 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease okay and this is 5 prime to 3 prime sorry 3 prime to 5 prime exonucleus so what it uh, what will be done is to get the clino fragment so there is an proteolytic enzyme known as subtilicin subtilicin okay this enzyme is added so this is where a protease a protease enzyme is added protease it what will do is so when protease is added it will remove this particular fragment okay so when this particular fragment is removed we will be left with two subunits okay this one and this one okay so when 
protease is added we will be left with two subunits okay and this two subunit okay is known as the clino fragment clino fragment i think now you have understood properly what is meant by clino fragment okay but even though it is obtained so it is a large fragment that is obtained by the it's a large fragment only this small fragment is so this small fragment is removed off this is removed off by proteolytic cleavage so this particular clino fragment it's a precursor obtained by the <coughs> removal of the <coughs> removal of 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclear subunit so this now this enzyme is having the clino fragment whatever it is obtained it has it is having only the 5 prime to 3 prime polymerase polymerase subunit and 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease unit <clears throat> this is the clino fragment okay now we understood i think so now coming to the activities activity same so it is having what it is having 5 prime to 3 prime polymerase activity activity and then it is having the 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity so it is having proofreading activity and the polymerase activity now coming to the applications of now coming to the coming to the applications so it has it is having the same applications as that of dna polymerase what are the applications we have discussed yes so dna poly replication doesn't come over here because it is not present naturally but we have removed one subunit to make a clean of fragment so application it is used in the synthesis of what synthesis of probes synthesis of dna probes okay and it is used in it's also used in synthesis of dna synthesis of this is synthesis of dna probes one more synthesis of dna also and second thing it is used in the pcr technique before the advent of tag dna polymerase 